Hey, are you feeling discouraged with the career progress you've achieved so far, even after you've put in your best efforts? Interested in turning around? Well, then you have to keep on listening. Don't be discouraged. There is an answer. Welcome to Thrive with Nancy. This podcast is dedicated to hardworking executive women who want more from their careers, but not at the cost of twisting themselves into knots. I promise you, there is so much more you can do than you believe to dynamically move your career in the direction of your choice. Ready to generate a thriving future through tapping into the best career booster system ever? Honestly, if I had a magic wand today, I just love that thought, don't you? But let's get back to the wand waving. If I had that wand, I would wildly flourish it over you listeners, intending that everyone embraces possibility, the greatness of who you are, the context of you being more significant than you've ever imagined. Consider the idea. Wouldn't everything be so much easier if magic wands existed? But is a miraculous waving wand the right answer? The reality is, is that human beings grow not in a contented, everything is perfect environment, even though we'd love it that way. No, we develop in the middle of struggles and challenges. This concept is foundational to building a lasting career that excites you every single time you go to work. It's reality. Don't let any doubting Thomas attitude that you might have keep you from living a passionately, fully alive presence. What system do you need in place to move you from today into your glorious future? Your brain. It's the control center of your life, and it has the facility to continually grow and develop no matter your age, should you choose to stretch it. Some neuroscientists believe your brain is designed as a proactive system that integrates past experiences to help navigate and create the future. Are you using this magnificent, mighty, three-pound thinking machine of yours to participate in generating your career future? After all, it is faster and more powerful than any supercomputer out there. As fabulous as your brain is, and it is, there is a shadow side that limits you. It's the aspect of the brain that takes all your great ideas and whispers to you, it can't be done. And if it possibly could be done, certainly, certainly not by you. Let me share a real life hero story that offers insight into the brain. Surely you've heard of Roger Bannister, even though his breakthrough achievement took place in 1954 when he broke the four-minute mile. For years, you have to understand, a four-minute mile was believed to be an impossible goal as man's body wasn't created to go that fast. Certainly, an amazing accomplishment by Bannister But that isn't why I'm sharing the memory of this man's triumph with you. The crucial learning is what comes next. A month later, another runner broke the four-minute mile, and then it was consistently broken. Why? Bannister not only broke the four-minute mile, he shattered the shadow of the mind. Once runners knew it could be done, it was And it was, and it was. Don't let any of your shadow mind limit your human potential. Your brain is a notable, powerful creation machine. It innovates and generates one new future after another for you. Unfortunately, your brain, like all of ours, can also run amok by holding you, us, small. The shadow tells you you're too busy to think about anything except your firefighting activities. So that in fact, all that creation and innovation part of who you are is closed off. Sometimes 
so closed up that you don't even recognize you have it in you. Did your brain explode just now? Good. That's the beginning. Now, how does this relate to your career? Only in every single project or process or idea you've ever had. It may even be impacting your presence in meetings. Think about it. Do you ever find yourself with an idea you're ready to share only to silence yourself because your brain is saying, no, it's dumb, or I'll look foolish, or it's too simple, it's not good enough. That's the shadow of your mind in action, trying to shut down the power of your ideas. How do you fight shadows? You can test it when you have an idea and you get scared and you speak out anyway. You combat it when you have a project that you think will make a difference in your organization and you push it upward. You battle it when you work on the big innovative project rather than focusing only on the busy, trivial work of your job. You fight it one step, one idea, one project at a time until it becomes second nature to you. Let me share another area of brain function you may not understand and one that shuts you down from expanding. It's embracing the unfamiliar. Whenever you're doing something new, it feels as though you're hacking away in the jungle of your mind. It's arduous. This concept can't be right. It's taking forever to go from point A to point B. Yes, that's what happens the first time you try anything out newly in the maze of your mind. However, each time you travel that pathway again, it becomes easier and easier and easier. And keep in mind, growth doesn't come from your already knowing. It comes from what you learn and take on newly. You know, a great visual for this uh, concept is the Amazon jungle. Envision the explorer macheting her way through the undergrowth, all sweaty on her way to discovering the greatest treasure known to man. Yet the next time it takes a little less chopping and slashing, and the next time it's even easier, until there's a pathway clearly exposed in the middle of that green, overgrown jungle that tourists effortlessly follow to visit the eighth wonder of the world or, you know, something equally magical. That's exactly how our mind works. Yes, it's difficult at first, not forever. And just like in that Amazon jungle, if you don't use the path on a regular basis, the jungle's underbrush once again owns the pathway. Kick out the shadow part of your brain that tells you you're not the solution, that has you wasting time on the trivial rather than volunteering for the big assignments. Every human creates and innovates naturally. Somehow you bought into the shadow, not the truth of who you are. Your first assignment, should you choose to take it on, is to fully and completely embrace your brain to boost your career success. The second is to begin breaking down the shadows of your mind. And the third is to start contributing your innovative self to your organization right now, right this minute. You have now joined those corporate heroes who have taken control of their careers and their destiny. Yet that will never happen unless you take action now, now, now. And... Tap into the best career booster ever. I'd love to hear from you. When you have a chance, take a minute to share what actions you've taken and the results you've achieved through using your brain and moving the shadow part of your brain outside and no longer part of you. When you have a chance, take a minute to share what actions you've taken and the results you've achieved through taking on this booster of your mind and moving that shadow out of your brain forever. DM me 
on Instagram at Thrive with Nancy or email me at nancy at Thrive with Nancy. Please subscribe and pass along this podcast to your friends and peers so they can benefit as you have. That's the dream of my heart, that I support executive women all over the world. Thanks. Hey, and by the way, if you're ready to unlock all that brain power for yourself and you need a little help, I'd be delighted for you to check out the Your Strategic Edge coaching program and all the extras that go along with coaching with me. You can partner with me, an executive coach who has aided thousands of men and women in unlocking secrets for expanding their careers and embracing their dream. I can do this for you too. Together, we explore opportunities to bring your possibilities into being for you. Check out www.thrivewithnancy.com forward slash executive forward slash. I'd be delighted to support you. Remember, no one ever makes it to the top or even arrives at their destination alone. See you next time. I'm thrilled you've listened to the Thrive with Nancy podcast. My intention is to offer quick tips designed for you to apply right away, ones that will boost your career immediately. I bet you're already considering ways to implement these new ideas. Perfect. Now, if you do me a favor, pass the podcast link on to those who will benefit, your friends and co-workers. Thanks so much.